The mayor of St. Martinville has veto authority. According to the Third Circuit Court of Appeals, the judge's ruling came in on Wednesday. According to St. Martinville Mayor Melinda Mitchell, after almost a year and a half of debate, News 10's Nils Zarang reports on how she plans to use the power. Mayor Melinda Mitchell met with her supporters Thursday morning in the council chambers, promising never to use her veto authority for herself, but only for the people's benefit. It's been many struggles as the first African American mayor here in St. Martinville, but through the struggles we prevail. In October 2019, Mayor Melinda Mitchell vetoed a vote which would have made St. Martinville's mayor position part time. The council insisted she couldn't do that. I don't think there's been a veto in the history of St. Martinville. They took the matter to the 16th Judicial District Court, where it was decided that she could not veto, but Wednesday, the 3rd District Court of Appeals reversed it. 23 other municipalities in the state run under similar legislative charters, according to the mayor's attorney. The mayor's action has implications not only for the city of St. Martinville, but for all other 23 cities in Louisiana that operate under a special charter. I got a feeling that there will be a lot of litigations coming uh, from other areas just because of her victory. The fight for the veto will continue if the council decides to appeal to the state Supreme Court. The council majority and city attorney do not believe the charter allowed for a veto because it mentions one nowhere. When they voted for me to proceed with the litigation, they voted for me to proceed with the litigation to a final judgment. So until uh, they tell me to stop, I'm going to keep going. Mitchell's attorneys argued the Larson Act applies where the charter is silent and said the mayor plans to propose the people replace the charter with the Larson Act. Altogether. It's not the end, it's the beginning, so we're going to keep moving forward and doing what's right, standing up for righteousness. This decision was made just days before the next mayor of St. Martinville is elected. All five candidates are in favor of the next mayor having veto authority. Reporting in St. Martinville, Niels Rank, KLFY News 10.